Hello everybody and welcome to one more seminar for multi-rate signal processing and this time this task is about the MDCT analysis and synthesis. To work on this task I recommend that you go through Professor Schuller classes and notes about the MDCT and especially this part of the MDCT Python implementation, the analysis and the synthesis. All you need to work on this task is included here. Make sure that you understand all the steps required for constructing an MDCT filter bank for analysis and synthesis and especially this part here where we'll go through Python implementation. That starts here. So we have MDCT Python implementation analysis. So make sure you understand the MDCT sign window. You understand the folding matrix. You understand how to convert an input signal into a polyva polyphase vector. That you understand how to apply the DCT4 transform. And then also the MDCT synthesis filter bank. The inverse delay matrix the inverse folding matrix for synthesis converting from polyphase vector to a contiguous row vector and here the reconstructed signal so you need to understand all these steps so you can work on this assignment so here as usual you need to import some libraries and feel free to import other libraries here and you can use any function that was given by Professor Schuller as an example during the classes and I included a lot of functions in the folder of this assignment you can use all these functions to work on this task then we have you include your matricle number and this will give you which signal and which number of subbands ends you must use this time we are doing a bit different to save space so the files they are not included in the folder but we're downloading them from github and then you can play it back here and your file is loaded and ready to use in this assignment so in this case here that i put this matricle number i need to use this uh, guns and roses switch idle mine introduction and i need to use 512 subbands so you can play back and listen how it sounds the original audio wave file then you need to start completing functions in order to have a full mdct analysis filter bank so we start with the mdct sign window make sure you understand what is written here in the documentation of this function because for example you need to return h and h is an array with the coefficients of the mdct sign window so here inside you need to make some crazy calculations to get this H. So make sure that you return exactly what is being asked to be returned and that you use the parameters that are being asked to be used. So in this case, depending on the number of subbands, you need to return coefficients of the MDCT sign window. Then we need to calculate the folding matrix FA. We need to calculate the delay matrix we need to com complete this function to compute this folding matrix times the delay matrix and here just putting everything together so we have an MDCT spectrogram and this is your MDC spectrogram and this is the expected or the desired MDCT spectrogram so you can compare and see if your MDCT spectrogram that you decide completing all these functions matches and is similar to the desired MDCT spectrogram. So this is the analysis part. Then we will move to the synthesis part and then you need to complete the function to um, calculate the inverse folding matrix and then you need a function to reconstruct the audio from this YP that we calculated previously. So this is plotting the YP here. This is spectrogram and we can see here we have our MDCT sign window, our FA matrix, our delay matrix, 
uh, FAZ matrix, then we compute YP, then we apply the CT4, and then we have this plot of the Y of P with the DCT4 here. And this is the desired one. And now we need to, from this, we need to reconstruct our signal. And we need to calculate the inverse folding matrix. And here is a function that you put many things together. And from the YP, you get this XREC, which is the reconstructed audio data from YP. And then we are displaying here. You can also listen to your reconstructed signal see how it sounds and also we are comparing the original with the reconstructed and we are already accounting for the delay so the MTCT analysis and filter synthesis filter bank there is a delay included in it you will understand about this delay when you take a look at professor Schuller lessons and we are for plotting we are taking this delay into account so we want that the original and the reconstructed match and you can see if your reconstructed signal is matching. So if there is something wrong, this is an insight that you need to change something in your functions that it's not working correctly. So just as a tip, most of the analysis part is a step-by-step, -step, but on the synthesis part, this function here is a bit more complex because you need to put some more things together in order to reconstruct the signal. But everything what you need to do is available as examples or as explanations from Professor Schuller videos, Professor Schuller lecture notes. Also, we have our tutorials and Jupyter notebooks. So just go through the materials and you have everything you need to perform this assignment. That's it for today. I wish you success in this assignment and we meet in another opportunity.